Okay, so now we're gonna go through a high plank with a push-up progression. So this is one of the, the first movements that I always teach people um, because it's so important that you develop the proper strength and stability uh, in pressing type patterns. So any type of pushing pattern, where it's front to back, whether it's up overhead, it's not just about like pushing with the arms and using the shoulders. We gotta develop strength throughout this entire body. So when you're pressing, if you don't have a strong core, if you don't have a strong lower body, then all that force that comes in you just kind of, you don't have the strength to push back. So what happens is you become weaker, you become unbalanced, and what it does is it increases a lot of the stress into the joints, tendons, ligaments, muscles, joints wear out faster, you get you know issues with like tendonitis, bursitis, arthritis, right? All these types of pain and injuries decrease performance. It's like a whole negative effect that happens. So what we're doing with a high plank is we're training that push pattern. We're getting the entire body locked in, upper body, upper back, core, hips, legs, right? Everything that we're training this body as a unit within the push pattern. So what it looks like is the top of a push up, right? I call it a high plank. So we're up here and then what we're doing is we want to get the alignment right. So make sure that your hips and shoulders, they're pretty close to the same height. What I'm saying is that you don't want to be like here, like you're going to do a push up there. You see how my bottom's dropping? That's a lower back problem waiting to happen. That's going to put a lot of strain, not only in the lower back, but in the shoulders and elbows and things like that. So we want to get up, get the hips up pretty even with the shoulders. Now we got a good high plank. So what we're going to do here is we're going to think of the big three, I call them. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades down and back, Pull the abs in tight, squeeze the butt tight, and lock that movement pattern in. So you've got to feel that. You want to feel your upper mid-back right across your shoulder blades. Not up here in your neck, but shoulder blades down and back, okay? And then we want to make sure that we're pulling the abs in, getting the butt tight, feeling those muscles. If you don't feel them, keep holding that movement until you do. Put a lot of focus and thought into getting those muscles on. And don't progress into the push-up until you train those muscles to work. Because again, if you're missing any one of those big three, it's gonna show up in a lack of strength, it's gonna increase the wear and tear on the body, and that's what leads to lack of performance and pain and injuries. We don't want that. We wanna enhance movement, enhance strength, enhance athleticism, okay? So when we're up in this high plank, we do a push-up progression. Once you've got it down, all we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna work the push-up. Now we're gonna do it with an elbows tucked in. Here's what I mean. Most people will do a push-up, watch my elbows, with the elbows going out wide to the side like that. So when I show you to the front, here's what most people do. They go out wide like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elbows and tuck them into your sides, like you're gonna tuck them into your lats. So we're gonna do that one, and then what it looks like is I tuck my elbows to the side, boom, and now I'm hitting this push-up. Tuck the elbows to the side, boom, hit that push-up. That is gonna feel really, really tough, especially if you don't have a lot of strength in the upper and mid-back. A lot of times we're really tight in the chest and shoulders. We get rounded out and pulled forward. We're sitting all day. We're cooped up. That upper back gets weak. So we've got to really open up the shoulders, lock in the upper back, and develop strength in there. So this takes time to develop. You might find that you can't do a full push-up all the way down to the floor. Do what you can. The main things you want to look out for are red flags. So if you're doing it, and you're feeling any red flag areas like shoulder joint, neck, um, lower back, okay? If you're feeling any of those, stop, hold the high plank, readjust the movement until you can get rid of that stuff, okay? That's the main thing. We don't want to move through pain and push through it because pain is a signal that the movement is off or the muscles that we're using are not working the right way. We're not using the right muscles. Something's off. We need to correct it before we progress, okay? So get that dialed in, and then just move into that push-up. Over time, you'll progress deeper and deeper into it. So push-up with elbows tucked, master the high plank first, and then progress into that push-up. That is your high plank with a push-up progression.